Hello everyone, this is Ken Moorfield from One More Film Blog and Christianity Today, Movies and TV. I'm coming at you from the 2014 Toronto Film Festival and I want to give a quick shout out to a film that played today, Gemma Bovary. This is an updated tweak on Madame Bovary by Flaubert in which the main character is an English woman living in France. Gemma Bovary is based on the graphic novel by the same title authored and illustrated by Posey Simons. You may know that name from the graphic novel Tamara Drew. I liked both of those films. I liked Tamara Drew a little bit more. I think it had a better mix of seriousness and comedy. Coincidentally, the film stars Gemma Arterton, who is also the lead character in Tamara Drew. Some of you may know Arterton from Hansel and Gretel Witch Hunters, but she first caught my eye in Tamara Drew. Overall, I really enjoyed the film. I liked Arterton's performance quite a bit. I find sometimes when actresses, or actors for that matter, play iconic characters from literature, there may be a tendency to over-emote or overdo it. I like the way in which she gives a restrained performance that really makes Gemma believable. If I had a slight drawback or criticism of the film, it may be Jobert, the Baker character who serves as the narrator of the film and provides some of the comic relief. The comedy didn't integrate quite as well for me, and I found myself wishing almost like the film would be a straight melodrama. Uh, when it's focused on Gemma, I found it really interesting and engaging and capable of eliciting strong emotions. Uh, but when it took it back to the Baker character, I was uh, a little bit less interested. And the ending seemed to me to be not quite as, as serious. I think they had an opportunity to have some reflections on differences between Gemma and Madame Bovary. Uh, but even with those... A slight nitpicks aside, I, I found the film solid and enjoyable. Certainly, if you like Tamara Drew, if you're familiar with uh, the graphic novel, or if you like Madame Bovary for that matter, it's well worth checking out Gemma Bovary. My verdict three and a half out of five stars probably won't be on my top ten for the year, but I still solidly enjoyed it and recommend that you check it out.